Good morning. Today is Tuesday, June 22nd, 27th, 2023. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I apologize that there wasn't an update yesterday. Um, life happens and, and uh, sometimes those pieces don't get done. Um, I'm coming to you not from Scotland, not from Seven Oaks, but from Harris Manchester College in Oxford. Um, I'm here attending their Summer Research Institute. And the Summer Research Institute is really about three different but complementary things. One, it's an opportunity to live in community for a week with a, an interdisciplinary group of scholars from around the world. So last night I had dinner with a historian from Brigham Young University, an economist specializing in climate change from Thailand, and a member of Oxford's professional staff. And so the, the organic connections and conversations that come out of moments like that are a really big part of this experience. It's also a chance to do some research. The Boblin Library is right over there. Um, and uh, and that's an opportunity to really dig into resources that we might not have access to in Nebraska. Um, so for instance, uh, this, this morning, um, I'm walking over to see two early 20th century manuscripts on Unitarian theology that, that I've seen fairly often in footnotes, because they were, they were influential at the time that they were written, um, but they've been out of print for 60 years. So <laughs> Unitarian theology is a pretty niche subject, so it's not easily available through libraries, but Bodlin has copies of them. Much like the, the Library of Congress, it's what's called a copyright library, so anything that's been published here in the UK in the last 300 years or so has a copy somewhere in their archives. And then the third bucket, the third thing that this, this week is about is um, collaboration. So the whole summer research intensive is interdisciplinary um, by, by design. But this year, six of us are Unitarians. Three Americans, two Brits, um, and one Hungarian. And we're gathering over the week to, to think about Harris Manchester with its Unitarian roots and its deep Unitarian and dissenting archive uh, might serve the broader Unitarian and, and Unitarian Universalist worlds. What kind of professional development is available for ministers here? What kind of support for congregations could this institution offer? What research projects exist in that archive that goes back 400 years but hasn't been fully explored yet. So those conversations among the, the six Unitarians here are starting this afternoon and, and they are the main reason that I'm here. In the coming week uh, before I come back to, to Nebraska, I'm hoping to move away from these um, solo updates and towards uh, recording conversations with some of the people that that I'm here with about some of the work that they're doing. So I hope you come along with me on that ride. Um, it is at this point, a week from today, I'll be back in Nebraska. A week from tomorrow, I'll be back in the office. Um, so that is both surreal and really exciting. Um, and, uh, and I can't wait to see you all. Anyway, have a good day.